so now we are going to discuss about uh, amaranthesi family so some of the important plants and the classification of the family here uh, it belongs to the division phanerogams class dicotyledonae subclass monoclamidae series carvembriae family amaranthesi so it belongs to the uh, to the flowering plants uh, division and uh, class dicotyledonae it shows the tap root system and reticulate venation on the leaves and uh, so it is uh, included under the class dicotyledonae and uh, it included under the subclass monoclamidae monoclamidae means flowers are monoclamidous for uh, here perianth is in a single whorl so it is called as monoclamidious and it is included under the monoclamidae subclass and the series is carvembriae due to the presence of the curved embryo in the seed it is included under the series carvembriae embryo is curved and the family amaranthesi and here you see the most popular plants here amaranthus amaranthus viridis and amaranthus pinosus there are different varieties and gomphrena here gomphrena serrata and the characters of amaranthesi plants mostly herbs and few are shrubs leaves are extipulate that means stipules are absent and simple opposite or alternate and uh, and hairy flowers are small in size and inconspicuous and usually with bracts and bracteoles so bracts and bracteoles are present but they are modified as a scales and actinomorphic flowers are present and uh, usually we see the spike in flowers are sometimes rhizomous in flowers perianth usually perianth is arranged in a single whorl so it is called as uh, monoclamidae it is included under monoclamidae and perianth contains 2 to 5 tepals and they are uniseriate green or colored and stamens are 3 uh, to 5 in acranthus we find the 10 stamens um, and uh, dithecus condition is observed and uh, here we see the antiphyllous condition that means they are arranged opposite to the perian segment stamens are up, arranged opposite to the perian segment so it is also called as antiphyllous and uh, gynecium is usually bicarpellary that means two carpels are fused that is called syncarpus and unilocular with a single basal ovule that is a campylotropous ovule and fruit is one seeded nutlet it is also called as pyxidium and now uh, we are going to observe the vegetative characters and uh, the habit plants are mostly herbs or shrubs and root is tap root system and stem is aerial herbaceous are uh, um, and uh, frequently herbaceous and uh, uh, rarely it is woody and erect or straggling cylindrical or angular branch and solid hairy green or stripped green medullary vascular bundles are present and it shows the for example acranthus aspera shows the anomalous secondary growth and uh, leaf is a simple one and it shows the alternate or opposite phyllotaxy in usually in amaranthus we find the alternate uh, phyllotaxy and in case of the uh, some other plants acranthus we see the opposite decussate kind of the phyllotaxy and leaves are petiolate and the stipules are absent extipulate and uh, leaves usually um, green colored or reddish colored and uh, unicostate reticulate venation is observed in the leaves and regarding the floral characters now we see the inflorescence the most common type is is a spike it may be axillary or terminal spike and uh, spike it it consists of the bisexual sessile flowers arranged in acropetal succession on the unbranched erect inflorescence axis so it is called as simple spike and uh, sometimes in uh, for example in amaranthus um, members like, um, we observe the compound spike uh, and in case of the acranthus we find the simple spike and flowers are bracteate that means bract is present and flowers are sessile mostly they are sessile without uh, pedicel and bracteolate and actinomorphic these bracts and the bracteoles are modified as a uh, scales and uh, 
flowers are usually bisexual or unisexual and hypogynous flowers are present that means gynecium is uh, above the floral parts and uh, flowers are usually small and in inconspicuous that means they are not so clear and um, green are variously colored for example in case of the uh, amaranthus versicolor uh, or amaranthus uh, tricolor these are the ornamental varieties uh, where we find the colorful flowers even though in case of the celosia argentina also we find the uh, colorful perianth and in other cases usually uh, perianth is green colored and uh, here uh, in the perianth we find the usually find the five tepals they are free or united usually they are united that uh, that's why it is uh, sometimes two or uh, three in number in amaranthus we find the three tepals and they are dry and membranous and hairy green or colored as we discussed earlier in case of the celosia they are colored and they are persistent and uh, inferior and in andrisum we find the stamens they are five or three in amaranthus one and uh, we find the 10 stamens in case of the acranthus aspera out of the 10 stamens five are fertile and remaining five are sterile and uh, staminodes are observed they are also called as staminodes in acranthus five staminodes are observed and uh, in the andrisium this uh, anthers are uh, arranged in trots in introts condition and the anthers are dicotyles or sometimes monotyles so gynecium uh, it is formed by the two carpels usually so usually it is bicarpellary and occasionally it is tricarpellary and uh, rarely it is tricarpellary and uh, two carpels are fused so it is called a syncarpous condition and uh, it is unilocular a single locule is present and also ovary is superior since uh, flowers are hypogynous this ovary is called as superior ovary because below the ovary remaining floral plots are present so ovary is superior so this flower is called hypogynous flower and uh, it is unilocular ovary is unilocular and usually one single ovule that ovule is compilotropous ovule is arranged in basal presentation and uh, style is short or filiform and stigma is uh, bifurcated or trifurcated and here the characteristic fruit of the family is called as pyxidium or sometimes it is akene and uh, here uh, dry indehiscent fruit is called as akene and uh, sometimes uh, capsule also present for example in case of the uh, amaranthus we find the capsule that type of the capsule is called as pyxidium and it uh, dehisces transversely like a coconut it dehisces uh, transversely uh, and it is called as pyxidium and seed is usually endospermic with uh, polished testa and the embryo present in the seed is kidney shaped or curved so it is included in the curved embryo series and pollination is usually uh, takes place with the help of the insect so it is called as uh, entomophilus or sometimes with the help of the wind it is called as anemophilus uh, and the floral formula here we see the br that means bracteate, bracteate and uh, uh, bracteolate brl and actinomorphic that means they are symmetrical and bisexual both the andrisium and gynecium is present and in the perianth we usually see three to five tepals and uh, in the andrisium usually five stamens are present in the gynecium usually two carpels are present that means bicarpellary and uh, uh, rarely three carpels are observed and also we see the hypogynous flowers so hyphen is kept below the gynecium and we see some of the important plants of the family here we see the amaranthus members amaranthus viridis and also gomphrena serrata and uh, economic importance of amaranthaceae the amaranth uh, seeds of amaranthus uh, Cordates are edible and leaves of Amaranthus viridis, Amaranthus spinosus, and uh, Amaranthus tricolor are used as vegetable leafy vegetables. Amaranthus, that means in Telugu, it is called as Tota Pura. 
so there are also several uh, medicinal properties echinanthus aspera it is very important medicinal plant it is used as diuretic and purgative that means it releases the urine very freely it is called as diuretic and uh, uh, motion it, uh, uh, it is also uh, useful and also for the digestive system and the stems of the echinanthus uh, uh, aspera are used for the cleaning the uh, dental problems to cure the dental problems so echinanthus stem is useful uh, that sticks are useful to clean the teeth also it is uh, it has a lot of medicinal value and uh, decoction of the erva tomentosa or erva laneta are used to remove the kidney stones and also to remove the swellings and the stem and leaves of alternanthara are useful in snake bite and alternanthara uh, it is useful also uh, to cure the high blood pressure problems and uh, for the it is also use, useful to cure the sugar problem right? so and the flowers and seeds of daisera muricata are given for the urinary discharges and uh, as a dye bosia uh, species are useful to prepare the black dye the fruit juice of uh, deringia is a substitute for red dye and beets like amaranthus celosia daisera echinanthus gamfrina are beads and celosia cristata it is also called cox comb it is uh, it is a ornamental variety and gamfrina globosa is also an ornamental variety they are cultivated in the gardens so now we see the twig of the plant amaranth amaranthesi member it is acranthus aspera here we see that pick of the acranthus aspera you see the opposite dextrously arranged leaves here on the stem and also you see the simple spike in inflorescence and uh, here uh, you see the flower and the bracteoles and the bracts and bracteoles are modified as scales you see the ls of the flower here here scales we observe the scales and the ovary and stamens out of the 10 stamens five are the fertile ones remaining five are staminodes uh, and they are sterile and you see the gynoecium structure here and here you see the stamens of the echinanthus aspera five stamens are fertile remaining five are alternately arranged staminodes they are sterile stamens here we observe the alternately arranged staminodes and also this is the vertical section of the gynoecium in the ovary this is the style and stigma it is bifurcated and in the ovary we find a single ovule that is a campylotropous ovule it is arranged in basal placentation and uh, here this is the cross section ts of the ovary a single ovule and a unilocular ovary we find here and this is the ts of ovary and floral diagram here bract is present so br two bracteoles are present so brl and here and the perian there are five tepals are present so you see the tepals here and in the andrisium there are 10 stamens so here we see the five fertile stamens alternated with the staminodes and ovary here see and unilocular ovary and bi bicarpillary and unilocular ovary with a single ovule that is compilotropous ovule is arranged in the unilocular ovary so here you see the amarantha spinosis that is called totakura in telugu here you see the alternately arranged leaves and uh, they are modified stipules are modified as the spines here that's why it is called as amaranthus spinosus and this is a, uh, here we see the unisexual flowers here and this is the male flower and this is the female flower and uh, you see the stamens here and uh, style in the female flower that uh, style is bifurcated and uh, we, you see the modified tepals tepals are modified as the scales and uh, here in the 
male floral diagram you see the bract and bracteoles in both male and female bracts and bracteoles are present and five tepals are present in both cases and stamens are five in case of the male flower and uh, gynoecium is absent in case of the female flower stamens are absent and uh, uh, ovary is present it is bicarpellary ovary and uh, a single uh, campylotropus ovule is present in the unilocular ovary so this is the floral diagram and primitive characters are plants are mostly shrubs are under shrubs leaves are simple or alternate flowers are actinomorphic hypogynous and uh, hermaphrodite product, uh, it is also called bisexual and anthers are dithecus seeds are endospermic and advanced characters are plants are mostly herbs in this family and leaves are extipulate usually and opposite in case of the gomphina alternanthera and flowers are small uh, and inconspicuous and unisexual in case of the airwand amaranthus and perianth is gamophilous that means usually fused number of stamens are reduced to two or three and this is also one of the advanced characters gynoecium is bicarpellary and syncarpus and uh, we see the uh, basal presentation of the campylotropus ovule and uh, usually we see the two kinds of the pollination anemophilous condition is uh, found in sometimes uh, pollination by insects also observed and economically important plants of the amaranthus here amaranthus blightum uh, or amaranthus viridis there are several varieties amaranthus spinosus so these are all leafy vegetables and uh, amaranthus caratus is a medicinal variety acranthus aspera is also medicinally important and alternanthera is also it is a leafy vegetable and uh, and celosia cristata is a uh, it's called as coxcomb and it is an ornamental variety and the gomphrina globus are also ornamental plant so thank you